Angiogenesis is a term that's used to describe the growth of new capillary blood vessels in the body. Uh, and this is a process that's incredibly important for uh, normal development uh, and wound healing. And in fact, the body possesses the perfect ability to be able to control blood vessel growth so that the vessels grow when they're needed. And when they're no longer needed, uh, they're, uh, the control switch is kept in the off position. Judah Folkman uh, is the pioneer uh, who first conceived that tumors are angiogenesis dependent. In other words, without a blood supply, tumors r remain limited in their ability to grow and invade. After they hijack the body's natural ability to be able to grow blood vessels, they can actually expand and they can also spread. The concept of anti-angiogenic therapy, that is uh, interfering with the tumor blood supply, was first uh, advanced in 1971. And at that time, it was just a concept, uh, not proven, not validated, and certainly not in patients. Fast forward to 2004, and the FDA approves the first anti-angiogenic therapy for colorectal cancer that improves survival. Most, a single largest improvement in survival in 20 years for the treatment of that disease. So uh, in terms of the absolute survival, it's one small step for cancer therapy. But in terms of opening the door for anti-angiogenic therapy as a new class of, a new modality for therapy, it was a huge step. So um, with uh, following on the heels of uh, Avastin's approval for colorectal cancer, uh, there have been a number of other anti-angiogenic uh, treatments of, um, that have been approved for kidney cancer. For example, there are now four uh, or even five FDA-approved treatments that target angiogenesis uh, for kidney cancer, uh, one for liver cancer, one for brain cancer, um, and uh, one for breast cancer as well. So uh, each uh, piece of progress that's being made teaches us not only that the concept of angiogenesis inhibition helps patients, but also teaches us what needs to be improved upon. The basic concepts that Folkman proposed in 1971 have largely held true. That is, uh, that tumors uh, have a system for releasing uh, attractants for blood vessels, and as those blood vessels uh, reach the tumor, they feed the tumor, and the tumor can uh, exploit this process in order to be able to generate um, uh, expansion in size and spread. That's metastasis. Um, what has uh, changed largely is really the level of detail that we have, and uh, as is often true with uh, scientific research, nothing is as uh, simple as it once seemed. So, for example, we know that tumors don't release a single growth factor, but there are uh, families of growth factors, possibly 30 or more factors that they have at their disposal redundant factors to be able to stimulate uh, new blood vessel growth. So you can't target only one growth factor. There's a whole army of these factors to contend with. Uh, secondly, we also know that even without new sprouting vessels, um, that, uh, that uh, cancer cells can align themselves and try to co-opt or hug the nearest vessel in order to be able to imbibe the uh, oxygen that's released locally. Um, so that's still limited growth, but, but uh, there's a different level of dependency that tumors have. Um, a third uh, concept was that angiogenesis was really only a local effect, meaning that uh, as tumors grow their vessels, it's the sprouting from local veins. Then those capillary sprouts grow into the uh, tumor and then began to ramify and expand. And the, the cells that participated in this all came from nearby the tumor. We now know that, in fact, um, that angiogenesis is a systemic effect and that there are cells that are endothelial progenitor cells, adult stem cells present in the bone marrow that are called into action uh, by tumors. Uh, and these, uh, no matter where the tumor is, uh, they'll actually begin to recruit these, mobilize these cells that circulate in the bloodstream and then uh, integrate or home right to the site of the tumor. So. Um, I think that our concept of angiogenesis as a local phenomenon uh, is being modified by understanding the other cell types that are involved as well. Some of the uh, exciting uh, progress that's being made is to understand how uh, tumors are able to progress eventually beyond certain treatments and the mechanisms of those progressions um, uh, is vital for understanding how to uh, develop um, counter strategies to be able to keep them under control. So in other words, the first generation of treatments um, are effective, uh, but we need to make them more effective. Uh, so one of the major thrusts of uh, ongoing research is to find out how to counter the evasion that tumors have, which isn't 
classical drug resistance to chemotherapy, but is truly an evasive kind of maneuver. So think about a dog fight in the air. We're, we're beginning to learn uh, how the enemy fights and maneuvers their planes so that we can actually have a counter strategy against it. Another area that I think is uh, very exciting is, is really understanding the other cell types that participate um, with angiogenesis and with cancer cells so that we can actually broaden our repertoire of actually finding uh, biologic ways uh, to target cancer. Uh, as we go fur further and further into the 21st century, I think we're going to be um, uh, having a much more refined targeting strategy to be able to take apart cancer really at the level of its circuitry. Uh, and we're just at the beginning of that stage. And then finally, I think that uh, the original concept of angiogenesis as proposed by Fopin was the in, uh, prevention of new blood vessel growth uh, to prevent tumor growth while the tumor is dormant and before it has vascularized. So essentially, the earliest concept of, the original concept of angiogenesis was as a preventative strategy to maintain tumor dormancy. This is still a holy grail for the field. Uh, entirely uh, unvalidated, but, but I think that if we uh, can find a way to prevent cancer, it certainly would actually um, uh, add to the lives, extend uh, the, the life, and change the battle uh, against cancer entirely uh, through probably the most sensible approach, and that is prevention.